Happy first day of second quarter Barstow. I'm Amanda Munsell. And I'm Lorelai Culver. Before we get into the show, let's roll the intro. So, Lorelai, did you get a chance to check out the musical this weekend? Yeah, I did. I went on Saturday, and it was amazing. Yeah. What about you? Yeah, I, I got a chance to go Thursday night, and it was really awesome. Great work to the cast, Mr. Kohler, and Dr. Markley. Speaking of success, congrats to our debaters of the St. Mark's Tournament in Dallas. Both our senior teams, Kristen Tingle and Tyler Durwood, and Sam Short and Taha Fanaswala, all made it to the elimination rounds. Our sophomore team, Phoebe Browse and, Edge and Joe Sharon, ended the tournament with a record of 4-2. Congrats, debaters. In sports news, doubles team Hannah Tadros and Helen Berger are headed to state this weekend, so wish them luck. And varsity volleyball defeated Zion in a huge upset game, coming back from 3-14 to in the third and final set. We now have a 14-4 to record for this season. Speaking of student success, check out the Beeline highlight about Carrie Asentes. Hey, I'm Zeechan. I'm one of the editors of the Beeline, and I'll be writing a piece about Carrie Asentes. Um, we're basically student ambassadors. We help a lot with new students that are coming and new families and kind of introducing them, introducing them um, to people and kind of helping their transition into the Barstow community. We also do lots of community service on and off campus. We help out at the front desk and work at places like Deanna Rose as well. So I'll be writing about that as well as our future plans. We want to connect with other parts of the school as well, like lower and middle school. So check it out. If you want more information or would like to join, please contact Helen Berger. In travel news, today is the deadline to submit your international travel applications with Barstow. Be sure to check out the Global Education webpage for more information in the downloadable application. Email Ilse Blashley for more information. Here she is with more information on the new Global Scholar Program. So students who go on international trips now can apply to be a Global Scholar. So to receive the Global Scholar designation, students um, need to participate in an international trip, go to one of our partner schools. Then they also need to complete at least 10 hours of international service and participate in other um, school-sponsored activities like hosting a student at their home, being an on-campus host for the <coughs> visitors, um, bringing the Global experience to the lower and middle school or presenting to the school about their global experience. They will also need to um, write a reflection of their experience or create a portfolio. All activities need to be done by junior year or before junior year. We recommend that um, you complete your activities around the time that you do your trip so they're not too spread out and then um, you forget about them. It's a great opportunity, so if you have questions about how to apply, um, go see me or send me an email. Wow. Thanks, Mrs. Blashley. I can't wait to travel with Barstow. I've already submitted my application for Argentina. It sounds super cool. Speaking of traveling with Barstow, the parents' meeting for the fifth grade trip to Washington, D.C. is tonight at 6.30 in the dining hall. Let's head over to Alex Archer with TV News. Let's get right into it. Marvel's Iron Fist has been canceled after season two, while Luke Cage has been renewed for a season three. Disney has released a teaser trailer for the upcoming live-action Aladdin movie pr to premiere in May with Will Smith as the genie. Brooklyn Nine-Nine, now Brooklyn Nine-Eight. Chelsea Peretti has announced that she is leaving the beloved comedy. However, don't worry, she will be returning in a guest capacity. The CW launched its open all campaign this weekend to support inclusiveness on and behind the screen. And on that note, Doctor Who Season 11 continues to break the glass ceiling as it had the strongest premiere rating of any other season. That's it for this week's TV news. Back to you all at the news desk. The cross-country team ran conference on Saturday. Congrats to Sage Holmes, who earned all-conference and placed eighth, and the boys' team, who placed fifth overall. In club meetings, there will be a meeting for the members of the Sociedad Honoraria Hispanica Tuesday, October 16th during Flex in Prope Marvin's room. Before we end the show, let's take a look at this piece I made about what the fourth graders are up to. Check it out. 
My name is Mrs. Breckheisen and I teach fourth grade reading and writing. So far this year, in fourth grade, we have started our book clubs with different level groups. Each group has a different novel. They've also read independent books on their own and done a book project. And we are knee deep in our vocab and our word skills activities. Every single week, uh, playing bingo and review games and cahoots, which they love. Hi, I'm Mindy Roper and I teach fourth grade math. Math is a lot of fun. We do a lot of problem solving, we do a lot of computation, but most of all we try to make math real. And so we do a lot of real life math problem solving. Hi, my name's Kenneth Van Pelt and I am the fourth and fifth grade social studies teacher at Barstep. Currently the fourth grade class is working on map skills, globe skills, recognizing latitude and longitude, grid maps, just all sorts of different kinds of maps that they're studying. Hi, I'm Amy Buckner. I teach fourth and fifth grade science. Um, this year, the fourth graders, we are, they're learning about energy through um, an engineering and design process. They are challenged to think of energy in a different aspect, not so much what energy is, but how they can design and uh, fix problems related to energy. What I think makes fourth grade unique is all that the freedom that the fourth graders start to have. Um, this is the first year where they get to walk from class to class all on their own. And they have four different teachers for core class instead of just one. And they really get to uh, develop as independent thinkers and learners in fourth grade. We really try to focus as being a community of fourth graders instead of as individual classes. So we do a lot of activities together. But the whole thing we really stress throughout all of fourth grade is to become problem solvers to become independent thinkers and hopefully they learn that learning can be fun. The kids are really exploring the world. They're, they're starting to look at how the world is recorded on maps and how history is recorded through maps. So this year, um, this is the first year the fourth graders get to be in the science lab and they work cooperatively within science groups, uh, lab groups. And this year, uh, the first for Invention Fair, and that they're prepared for that through the engineering and design curriculum that we're implementing this year. It's going to be a great year. Great piece, Lorelei. Also, BTVN would like to congratulate Mr. Dembinski on his wedding this past weekend. We're so happy for you. Well, it looks like that's all we have in store for you today. I'm Amanda. And I'm Lorelai. Have a great Monday, Barstow.